Ooh, what is the queer thing about me? Ooh, <sighs> my goodness. There's flaws. Are you sure there's no wrong answers? And besides what? <laughs> me living in Bushwick with a cat? Apart from the fact that I want to kiss women? <laughs> the real question is, what isn't queer about me? <laughs> I continue to be blown away that I was closeted to myself because all of my interests right down the line are gay. 100% of them. Ooh, ciao. Uh, my sex life. <laughs> the queerest thing about me is my sexuality. It's not even, it's not even a question. I mean, I would say the queerest thing about me is that I like having sex with men. <laughs> I've always been dramatic. Gay. Um, <laughs> I'm sitting here in a freaking feather robe with finger curls and on a Wednesday. I feel like truthfully the queerest thing about me is how I cut everything into a crop top. Everything. I'm a, like a huge brat and that's extremely queer. <laughs> I think the queerest thing about me literally is probably my hair. I think that's always been my like my queer calling card. Besides my haircut, my wife calls me stud poppy. She may kill me for this. <laughs> I feel like my aura just says, like, I'm queer. And I'm never, like, one to sh be shy about being queer, so if my aura doesn't say it, then I will probably physically say it out loud. Probably my wrists. It's just, it snaps this way. It feels good. And I don't want to argue with anyone. And it happens at, like, the DMV. The queerest thing about me is that I insist on telling you what I feel about every movie and TV show. And I think somehow it will help you. It might just be narcissism. Is that queerness also? I'm a pop culture junkie, so I have a, like an encyclopedia knowledge of stuff from like the late 80s, early 90s, early 2000s. Like I know everything about The Rosie O'Donnell Show, about Jessica Simpson and Newlyweds, and uh, I can recite First Wives Club. I mean, I think my love of pop culture and my knowledge of pop culture is something that I'm proud and a little bit embarrassed about. Aww. I would probably say my voice. I feel like I could walk the street and like people don't completely clock it. But then once they hear me, they're like, oh, that's a queer person. So badge of honor, I guess. My love of doing drag. That's probably the queerest thing about me. I'm a drag queen. I completely look at Elvira and always have as a drag queen. There are, is no difference whatsoever between me and a drag queen, except that I don't tuck. I don't make playlists. I just put all of my songs on shuffle. And I think that's a very queer thing to do. I give you cool gay auntie vibes. Um, I know everything there is to know about astrology. I play softball. My partner calls me a lesbian because I am a tool lesbian, as they say. I'm very like traditional in how I like look out for women. My poetry is also like really gay too. I think the most queer thing about me is actually that I'm an athlete. I play all kinds of sports, and I love it. It's something that I think really defines me. If I want to dance like Mary J. Blige on TikTok, I'm going to dance like Mary J. Blige on TikTok. If I want to show up in a crop top, stretch pants, if I want to show up in a suit, I fully embody all of my feelings, and I fully embody all of my expressions. Gender is ever-changing, sexuality is ever-changing, it's not static, at least for me. And that's the queerest thing about me, is I really refuse to be defined easily by something or someone. I refuse to let someone write my story or tell me who I am. I tell you who I am, either you like it or you leave. I once saw a Liza Minnelli record in a thrift store for 99 cents. And I had it already, but I bought it, because no Liza Minnelli record should be on sale for 99 cents.